Right, hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be going through back wheel hops. And this is a very advanced technique um, that takes a lot of time to learn. Um, Elliot and I, can, uh, we can definitely um, agree with that. We've spent years trying to learn them and by no means we've got them mastered. But uh, the best way we learn to do them is on the bicycle. Um, they're lighter, they're, they're just easier to use. Plus the lack of suspension uh, teaches you to use your legs a bit more. So if you've got a trials bicycle, we really encourage you to use it. Um, again, like an osset, it doesn't annoy the neighbours or anything. Um, so to learn the back wheel hops, on a bicycle you need to be pushing down on the pedals to bring it up in a wheelie. And then like a wheelie on an osset, you find the balance point. And then to hop, you push down on the pedals slightly, let go of the brake and then grab it again. As you can see here, um, you can spend hours learning this and it is very useful. See what Elliot's about to do. To start learning them, you need to be able to pull your uh, front wheel up. The best way to learn this on an osset is on a slope. Uh, it just brings your front wheel a bit further up anyway um, and it's easier to use it against. On flat ground it is really hard because you're always fighting against something. Um, Elliot's not quite mastered it yet but he's taking the steps needed to do so. So when you pull it up, like on the bicycle, you pull it up to the balance point, pull it up to the balance point, then you uh, put on the rear brake and instead of pedaling, you're using the throttle to go forward again. So when you're back wheel hopping, me and Oliver's opinion is for the suspension to be a lot harder. Because it's just, so when, you, when it's a lot softer, you have to go through the stroke of the rear shock. So, and also, it's the same on the bicycle, because there's no suspension, it's a lot more easier. So me and Oliver really, really, really do. So when Oliver's doing it, he's having to use quite a lot of body in his um, legs. It's really cool once you do it. He won a carbon fibre bicycle for doing 100 of those in a minute. It's really cool. And also it looks extremely cool as well. And you can just put it into combos like he just did with that rock. When you're hopping on the rear wheel, like Elliot said, you want the re rear suspension to be a bit harder so you're not going through the stroke as much. Like on a bicycle, the only suspension you've got is your legs. So when you're using it on the offset, if you have really soft rear suspension, you've got to go all the way through the travel and back up through the travel in order to get the rear wheel up. So for trick riding and back wheel hopping, I recommend harder suspension, but for competition use, you want slightly softer suspension to absorb stuff. 